Hello guys and welcome back to the F1 Tube YouTube channel and my word. Honestly, <laughs> I cannot believe what I've just witnessed. That has got to be the craziest F1 race of all time. The weather, the drama, the action, it was just at a premium. Let's kick off with the race results and Verstappen. Max Verstappen took his seventh career victory. Sebastian Vettel recovered from last to second, but... Shock of the day, Daniil Kvyat, P3 for Toro Rosso. I cannot believe what I've just witnessed. I'm so happy for the guy, thoroughly deserved. P4, Lance Stroll, 5th, Sainz, 6th, Albon, 7th, Raikkonen, 8th, Giovinazzi, 9th, Grosjean, and 10th, Kevin Magnussen. Then in the lower half of the field, we have Lewis Hamilton, the pole sitters for the Grand Prix, coming home in 11th, then we have the two Williamses of Kubica and Russell, and your retirements are Gasly, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Leclerc, Norris, Ricardo, and Perez. Let's go into the teams and start off with Red Bull, and yeah, they won their second race of 2019, courtesy of Max Verstappen, and it was far from a stellar drive from the Dutchman, nowhere near the quality of his Austrian win. However, well, let's start off with his first half of the race. He got a woeful start, and he was really hot-headed behind Bottas, putting in a pathetic attempt for an overtake at the hairpin and lost a load of time. Then he span. But once everything fell into play and the drama unfolded, Verstappen put his head down, composed himself, and when he's like that, he is near enough unbeatable at the moment. But on the flip side, at the end of the day, he was in it to win it. He was composed in the second half of the race, was dominant in the second half of the race, so a very mature drive in the end, but a more roller coaster of a race for the Dutchman. Then we have Gasly. I mean, he also got an awful start, but he was just all over the place for the entire Grand Prix. Yes, there was a sector of the race where he really got going, but most of it was spent off the track, just getting in a load of incidents and his race ultimately ended colliding with Alex Albon but it doesn't look great on him does it when a certain Mr Kavir is scoring a podium in a Toro Rosso when Gasly is just, yeah, things are not looking good for him and I wouldn't be surprised if this is the final straw. After a brilliant recovery, Charles Leclerc slid out in slippery conditions on dry tyres and he was out of the race devastatingly. I think he could have won today with all the action that ensued and I'm gutted for him but it was his mistake but Sebastian Vettel P20 to P2 what a drive this guy I'm really happy for him because his luck at certain times in 2019 has been wretched yes there was a time in the race where he had no pace at all and to be fair they were sorting out turbo issues but at the end of the day he didn't put a foot wrong. Story of the day has to be Danilkovic scoring a podium for Toro Rosso. I genuinely cannot believe it. I'm, it's scarcely believable. And I'm really happy for the guy after what's happened to him. But this weekend has been the greatest weekend of his life. Obviously with the birth of his daughter yesterday. Congratulations Danil. But then scoring a podium in Emphatically with a brilliant drive. I'm so happy for Danil. Alex Albon came home P6. Some more solid points for the team. In the latter stages of the Grand Prix, an inspired call from Racing Point leapt. Lance Stroll from P15 to P1. He was leading the race for heaven's sake, but he did drop back to P4, agonisingly missing out on the podium. But some great points for Stroll, who I hope can get his season going. Sergio Perez was the first driver to crash out as there was just no grip at the start of the race and he just aquaplaned, spun and hit the barrier. Carlos Sainz had an issue early on, he span out but he was able to recover his car and he came home P5. Sainz just seems to get it right on a Sunday and I think this has probably been his most consistent weekend in terms of qualifying and race results this year. Meanwhile, Lando Norris was forced out with a mechanical issue. Alpha scored some decent points with P7 with Kimi and P8 with Giovinazzi, but for Kimi, it should have been a lot better. He was P3 after the first lap, but he massively lost out during the safety car periods, and I do think he deserved to finish in the top five, but at least he got some strong points. Despite their two drivers colliding, Haas got a double points finish. P9 for Grosjean and P10 for Magnussen 
And yeah, they got their first points since Monaco, so that may be a sigh of relief, but they are still rooted to P9 in the standings. The only thing missing from today's race was Williams scoring points, but the pace is just not there. But fair play to the drivers, they did not spin or crash, and at least the reliability is there for Williams. So if we somehow have another race like this they may just score a point but it is not very likely after dominating the opening stages of the race mercedes grand prix just unraveled firstly i mean lewis hamilton by the sounds of it wasn't keen on going onto the dry tires whilst on inters and when he was on dry tires he hit the barrier this may meant he had to change his front wing he did so it took mercedes an age to change that front wing and their tires i don't know why Maybe just a bit of miscommunication, but they didn't have a lot of time to react, to be fair to them. And after that, Lewis just had no pace. He span, almost hit the barriers, but kept it on track and came home P11. Can I just say Lewis's penalty, five-second time penalty for being the wrong size of the Bullards was absolute BS because he has a damaged car, so he needs to pit. And if he is still out on track... He runs the risk of scattering carbon fibre onto the track. I don't know what the FIA were thinking. Common sense has to come into play. But yeah, Lewis just didn't drive that well today. Valtteri Bottas' his teammate crashed out after fighting for a podium. And after having a chance to close that championship gap, Bottas blew it just like his teammates. A perfect juxtaposition for what Mercedes were hoping for in a commemorative weekend for the team. Danny Rick had a reliability problem early on that put him out of the race, but Nico Hülkenberg looked like he could fight for a podium, but he was one of the many drivers to slide out of the penultimate corner slash last corner because it really is just one apex was carrying the momentum through. But anyway, he slid off, hit the barrier, was out of the race, and that podium finish is still seemingly losing him. Verstappen was officially awarded driver of the day but I have to disagree Sebastian Vettel from the back of the grid to P2 his pace in the dry was blistering his pace in the wet not so great but he didn't really put a foot wrong throughout the Grand Prix he thoroughly deserved that second place despite a catastrophic weekend for himself and the team Lewis Hamilton still preserves a 39 point lead in the driver's standings over his teammate Valtteri Bottas Max Verstappen is closing in on the Finnish driver with 162 points in third then rounding out the top 10 we have Sebastian Vettel Charles Leclerc Pierre Gasly who is falling into the depths of the midfield battle with Carlos Sainz in 7th Kimi Raikkonen in 8th after his brilliant podium with Daniel Kvyat jumps up to 9th and Lando Norris rounds out the top 10. Mercedes are still strides ahead of everybody else with Ferrari in second about 146 points behind I think quick maths. Red Bull closing on Ferrari in third with 217 points then McLaren coming fourth. Toro Rosso jump up to fifth with Renault P6 then rounding out the top 10 well, the constructors' standings, we have Alfa Romeo, Racing Point, Haas and Williams. Quite frankly, that is one of the greatest F1 races of all time. Yes, the racing wasn't at a premium, but the drama surely was. You had drivers, countless amounts of drivers at countless amounts of time, running wide, making contact with the barriers, and just the drama was just so insane. And a quick message to Liberty Major. Look at the top last two German Grand Prix. Brilliant drama this year especially. One of the greatest F1 races of all time. Don't you dare lose this race. Otherwise you're not doing your jobs. You're not running F1 properly. Because in a sport where people see it as to be in decline. This race is just rising it back up again. Liberty, do your job. But guys, that is it for today's video. Please like this video. Comment down below what you thought of this review and the Grand Prix. And please subscribe to the F1Tube YouTube channel. And until next time, guys, see you later.